So Harry's Bookshop, our mission is to celebrate women authors, women artists, women activists. Uh, and we do that in a lot of different ways. For instance, we collaborate with a different artist every month whose work kind of inhabits the space. But then also most of our books, almost all of them, are written by women authors, uh, mostly black women authors. I'd never been in a bookshop that had that kind of vibe. I'd never been in a bookshop where the children's section was brown faces on the covers. And so, you know, Toni Morrison says if there's a book that you wanted to read but you can't find it, that might mean you need to write that book. And so that's the same thing with the bookshop. If there's a bookshop that you're looking for and you can't find it, maybe you need to open that bookshop or business or, you know, whatever it is that people kind of feel themselves um, needing but not having yet. Today I'm really excited to be here at Harriet Bookshop because uh, it's an opportunity to align various art forms. A few of my colleagues are joining me today and we come to a place that celebrates women artists, women authors, women activists.
So for Philadelphia Orchestra, as Philadelphia Cultural Institution, to go to special neighborhoods, like the one where we are here now, is a great opportunity to bridge, to introduce our art, to learn from the art here, to align various art forms. This neighborhood is in a lot of um, flux, and I think that we've represented some of the ways in which this neighborhood has wanted to be different or want, wanting to evolve. Um, and now you, you see 
examples of that evolution and, I, and we need to see more. So when we first connected with the Philadelphia Orchestra, one of the con early conversations was around uh, how do we use music to support our storytelling of who Harriet is and who she was and how she, how she walked on this earth. And one story that I like to retell people is that, you know, one thing Harriet did, she used music to um, support people with understanding when it was a good time to leave and when it was a good time to stay. I think that it's, it's amazing because music has this ability to have a functional need, like, like you can use it for more than just like entertainment. This collaboration is such a privilege uh, to be able to, not only to perform with my former teacher and with the Philadelphia Orchestra, but to speak to this community through my own voice and my own voice being my compositions. Collaboration, cooperation, harmony, these are all things that are represented by music, by nature, but I believe that it's also something that's represented particularly by this collaboration. Uh, that we are in a store that was open and founded by a black woman, uh, that I happen to be a black and African American and even a Cherokee cellist, uh, and that I get to perform with uh, my former teacher who is Israeli, and then with Miss Angela Zader Nelson, uh, who happens to be yet another powerful woman in the Philadelphia area. Uh, so to bring all of these, all of these different colorful pieces into this one quilt, into this one uh, puzzle and to create I think a larger and more beautiful image than any of the individual pieces would be on their own uh, is I think that this is representative of what our world could be.
I've been percussionist with the Philadelphia Orchestra now for over 20 years and have been given so many wonderful opportunities to perform in different spaces, perform in different countries, and then to perform somewhere at home, someplace like this, Harriet's Bookshop. Uh, all of those opportunities are so wonderful. I feel they ultimately culminate into one performance, one feeling for me as a musician, that I have this burning desire to always perform, to share musical opportunities with other people. Just having that connection is what is memorable for me and hopefully memorable for our audiences. Today I got the opportunity to listen to the Philadelphia Orchestra play um, live and I guess for me as an abstract painter, whenever I'm painting live, I really like to delve into the moment and be present and kind of let the vibrations take over as I paint. Um, so today this is kind of just about the motion and the texture that I heard um, in the ensembles that were played today. So that's just kind of like the simple inspiration for that. It's kind of like translating the sound onto a canvas, you know, like creating that sheet music, but through color and brush strokes. This is where it all comes together. Music, writing, painting, Philadelphia Orchestra, Harriet Bookshop. Thank you. 
Thank you.